Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these Google style icons from scratch directly in PowerPoint and animate them. So let's jump into it. To start with, we'll go to File, New, Blank Presentation, right click and choose Layout Blank. And the first thing we're going to do is paste in an image of the icon we're planning on recreating. And there it is. So I'm just going to put that there as my reference. And now let's start creating this. The first thing we'll do is create the background light green panel. And for this, we're going to use a rectangle with rounded corners. So we can now click anywhere. We'll actually drag this over the top so we can get the size right. We'll hold down Control and Shift to scale it up. Then we'll hold down shift, which will rotate it exactly 45 degrees. And then hold down control and shift and drag the corner until we get it roughly the right size. And now we can use the little yellow dot to adjust how rounded the corners are. That's pretty close. So we'll just scale it up a tiny bit more. Excellent. Now let's move it off. And we can go to Home, Shape Fill, go to the Eyedropper tool and select the same green and then Shape Outline, No Outline. The next thing we're going to do is draw the body of the car. And for this, I'm going to choose Rectangle, Top Corners Rounded. And click anywhere. This has two yellow dots that can be adjusted, one for the bottom corners and one for the top corners. So we'll drag this into position. Resize it until it's roughly right. Then round off the top corners by adjusting with the yellow dot. And a tiny bit of rounding on the bottom corner, but not as much as the top. Great. Now we can go to Home, choose No Shape Fill, and then go to Shape Outline and choose the eyedropper and pick this green. And then we can go to shape outline and change the weight to four and a half. I'll just drag this off so you can see it's very, very close. But while we're working on this, it's easier just to leave these all on here as we trace over them to get it looking the same. So to create the wheels, we can also use the same shape, rectangle, top corners rounded. Click anywhere. Drag this yellow dot so the top corners aren't rounded at all. And then drag this yellow dot at the bottom to the right so they're fully rounded. Then put it into place, hold down shift as we drag the corner. And use the cursors to precisely put it into place. And then a shortcut for taking the style and applying it from the body of the car to the wheel is to hold Control Shift C while it's selected the body and then click on the wheel and press Control Shift V. To create the other wheel, I can just make a copy of this so I can press Control Shift and drag it. And then for the top of the car, we want the same sort of thing using the same shape and I'll align these in a minute. Let's just get it roughly right quickly. Again, Control Shift C, Control Shift V. You can use the cursors, find adjustment, and then make the top a little bit more rounded. So it's similar to the icon. Now we'll quickly make the circles for the headlights. And these can be very small. Again, we'll click on our shape, Control Shift V. And these are so small, that I'm going to make the line slightly thinner. So I'll go format shape, go to the line, and I'll probably make this 3.5, we'll probably do. So now I'll click on this, resize it down a bit by holding Control Shift, and then drag it with Control Shift, and it makes a copy. So now we've just quickly got to do the exclamation mark, and then we can get animating. And if we zoom in a little bit by holding down Control, and using the mouse wheel, we can create 
a very small circle as the dot. For this, we want it to be a light green shape fill with no outline. So I'll just put this in place, size it down just a little bit. That's about right. Again, we'll align these in a second once we've finished creating the similar shapes. And then for the top part, I'll put a line. I want this to be 4.5 point. And the cap type to be round. And the line itself, I want to be the light green. Nice. Now let's zoom back out and finally we'll create the circle. So for this we want it to be the dark green fill and no outline. And I'm going to hold down control and shift so I can make it about the right size. Again it doesn't have to be exact. All we want to do is make sure that the exclamation mark is above it. So for that, we can right click and choose bring to front on both of those. And then I'll drag this underneath. Now we can delete our guide image and we have something very similar. So if I hold down shift, I can drag this straight over to my panel. Nice. And I'm gonna control G to group that and align it to the center and control shift G to ungroup. And the final thing we're going to do to make it look similar is add an outline that's the same color as the background onto this circle. So if we go to shape outline, choose the light green, and we'll probably want about nine point width. And we can just click on this and move it down a little bit. And that's very close to what we had. If that's looking good, and we'll just center up the exclamation mark inside it. So the first thing we'll do is shift and click on both of these to select them, align them to the center of each other, control G to group, then shift and click to select the circle and then align them both to the circle. That's looking great. Now let's add the animation. So on this panel, if we go to animations. I added a grow and turn, which looks good. And you can choose any animations you want. I'm just choosing ones that look good with the actual content that's appearing. So if we open up the animation pane, we'll set this to happen with previous. So it will happen at the start of the slide without a click. And then we'll just take down the duration to half a second. Now I can click on the body of the car. For this, I used wheel, which looks like it's drawing out. Again, after previous and down to quarter of a second. Click on the top part, also wheel, after previous quarter of a second. Click on each one of the headlights, choose zoom, after previous. Then click on one wheel and shift click to select the second. And this was also a wheel animation. quarter of a second. Now we click on the first wheel and make sure that happens after previous. And finally, the exclamation mark in the circle, we'll click on the circle, shift click to select the exclamation mark as well, control G to group, and then I'll add a zoom. And finally, after previous for that. So let's run that. Excellent. An icon drawn from scratch with just PowerPoint shapes. And by using the techniques in this video, you'll be able to create your own icons from scratch, just using PowerPoint shapes to make high impact slides and presentations. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.